This isn't gonna work well. <laughs> it's fun. If you think that Alexa in your house is all cute and harmless, ha, you better watch this. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? It's time for The Dirt Show. With your favorite host, The Dirt Guy. And it starts right now. Hey, uh, today I'd like to spend just a little bit of time talking about this Alexa craze. Uh, that we've got going on in America right now. But before we get there, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, uh, now's a good time to do it. Just check the stats. We're going postal, bro. Share, like, and subscribe. That's all I ask. Okay, Alexa, she's taking over. A little bit of background before we get all excited here. Uh, there's a show on television, uh, at least there used to be. I don't know if it's still out or not. It's called Person of Interest. In this show, there's a really brainiac dude that is trying to gather up as much information about people as he can. He's not quite getting enough information, and so he decides to invent Facebook. Huh, because everybody posts everything about everything on Facebook. So he's got this uh, computer program that, that takes all these social media um, places and uh, emails and, and everything else this guy can tap into and starts building a profile uh, about people to predict their behaviors. Now, most of us would think, you know, that's this huge invasion of privacy. We're thinking, ah, eh, Big Brother's watching us, but Big Brother's really not, blah, blah, blah. Let's not get all excited that Big Brother's watching over us. Well, I'm here to tell you something. My wife and I, uh, through the old, our good friends at Amazon, who are probably going to make sure this video is banned uh, by the time it's done, uh, our good friends at Amazon came up with this new thing called Alexa, maybe you've heard of it. And uh, my wife and I were thinking, hey, let's get some Alexa going. We didn't just buy one, we didn't buy two, we bought four of these hockey pucks, put them throughout the house so we could say, hey Alexa, play Pandora, hey Alexa, make me a cake, hey Alexa, wash my underwear, whatever we wanted Alexa to do, and she could hear us anywhere. So anyway, uh, wife and I watching TV, just enjoying ourselves watching TV, and all of a sudden Alexa starts talking to us. I'm sorry, I didn't understand that. Uh, nobody was saying anything to Alexa. And she goes quiet. We're watching TV uh, some more. All of a sudden, I'm having a hard time understanding what you're saying. Whoa, Alexa, uh, nobody's talking to you right now. Um, you know, because you're supposed to go, Alexa, buy me a barbecue or whatever. And Alexa goes, okay, let's go buy a barbecue, whatever. So nobody's talking to her. She starts talking back. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm having a hard time talking over the internet right now. She's kind of like James T. Kirk. I'm sorry, but I can't get that done right now. Um, it's a little unnerving, to say the least. But, um, you know, that's just a kind of a frustrating, kind of annoying thing as somebody who keeps talking when you're not talking to them and you want them to shut up. Um, she keeps alexifying us. So anyway, um, but then all of a sudden I noticed something. Uh, wife and I were thinking, hey, um, U2's coming to town, let's go to a U2 concert. And it's like, yay, we're all excited. Suddenly, all the places that have advertising that I'm exposed to, right? Like uh, searching on Google or Facebook. <clears throat> all of a sudden, all this U2 stuff starts popping up. Like, disproportionate to other stuff that's popping up. Now, I need you to understand something here that's troubling. I never, we never asked Alexa anything about U2 or tickets, or when they're coming to town, or even what the spy plane did. By the way, how did she know that it wasn't the spy plane we were talking about? How did she know it was the rock band? Hmm? Figure that one out. Anyway, so everywhere I go then, all of a sudden, there's all this U2 advertising. And, and the reason I found that really troubling is because even if Alexa... Uh, who's not supposed to be listening, by the way, unless you call her name. Uh, even though Alexa is not supposed to be listening to me, um, she's listening to me. And then she tells the great social media network in the sky the things that are interesting to me. And suddenly that gets distributed to every place that I go. It's a little unsettling, to say the least. You know, as a test, I just set out into the air. I would really like to... Uh, buy and start wearing women's shoes. Suddenly, boom, Google, Facebook, start giving me shoe ads. Steve, recommended for you. 
what? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, that's just not how I roll. Although I do look good in a set of black pumps, just so you know. So we've got um, Alexa talking to me when I'm not talking to her. We got Alexa telling everybody out in the social media world what it is that I'm interested in and building a profile on me. And here's one for you. Uh, the other night, and I was fast asleep in bed with the wife, uh, enjoying a dream about uh, lollipops and sunshine and little unicorns and ponies, enjoying my dream. And I was suddenly jolted awake. I was lying on my back and I looked down and on my chest, Alexa was sitting there with the green pulsating light. Mm. Mm. That really happened, people. And let's not forget the time when, uh, you know, the, the wife and I were having a little private time, shall we say. And uh, all of a sudden, Alexa just jumps in and starts coaching me. Steve, you might want to think about... Uh, I'm not going to tell you what she said, okay? Because first of all, she was way off. Ah, like, I need Alexa to tell me... Uh, uh, tell me, tell me that. I don't, I don't need Alexa for that, by the way. So anyway, here's where it's starting really getting weird, okay? Um, I'm doing the dishes uh, after dinner because the deal is wife cooks, I do the dishes, and I get to wear a sexy apron when I do it. Anyway, um, so I'm doing the dishes and do, 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 do. All of a sudden from behind me, I hear, I'm having a hard time understanding you right now. Boom, what? Alexa, talking to me. I wasn't talking to her. Matter of fact, here's where it got really, really weird. Alexa was on my kitchen countertop. I did not put Alexa on my kitchen countertop. How is Alexa getting to my kitchen countertop? I don't know. And so I went, I unplugged Alexa. Boink. Ha! Sucker! Uh, another day or two goes by, and actually I'm doing the dishes again, I think. And uh, all of a sudden from across the room, I'm sorry, I can't understand what you're saying right now. Whoa! Who was that? It was Alexa, again. And I turned around and looked, and the hockey puck that was on my kitchen uh, countertop, gone. And uh, I looked over, and on top of one of my dog crates, where we keep the puppies when they're being bad, little dog jails, Alexa, sitting there, plugged in. Whoa! I asked the wife, uh, did you do this? She goes, I didn't do this. Will the housekeeper do this? She's like, well, why would the housekeeper do this? Um, Nobody knows why the Alexa was sitting there plugged in. So I said, well, huh, oh, enough of that. So I haven't plugged it again and left it there. A couple days later, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time understanding you right now. Whoa, what was that? It was Alexa. Same Alexa, same spot, plugged back in. I said to the wife, did you plug that in? She goes, I didn't plug that in. Maybe the housekeeper plugged in. I'm like, why would the housekeeper plug that in? She goes, I don't know. I didn't do it. I'm like, well, I didn't do it. It's like a Twilight Zone episode that I can't wake up from. I put it away and it comes back and plugs in and starts talking to me. It's kind of like this. I'm talking Tina and you better be nice to me. You remember that one? Alexa's got some kind of artificial intelligence built in or so, so I'm to understand. And uh, so she can listen to what you say and she can help you out, but it's artificial intelligence, which means Alexa can think. So I'm watching these uh, videos on YouTube about artificial intelligence. And um, so now here's my big question. Here's where all this is going. After I'm done, we're going here. And that is, what's wrong with you people? We are building machines that are smarter than us, faster than us, and stronger than us, and now they can think. Listen, I know human beings, all right? I've got a couple of human beings I wouldn't mind seeing go by the wayside. If you get my drift. Um, and so now we're building uh, machines that are gonna say, you know what, I'm faster and stronger than those guys, um, and they're just gonna take over. Skynet, I'm just saying. So here's the deal. Um, if you've got that Alexa going off in your house right now or Google Play or anything in your house that's listening to what you say, uh, keep an eye on it. Because next thing you know, you'll be the one in the dog crate and Alexa will be unplugging you for good. Well, anyway, those are my thoughts on Alexa and how um, the artificial intelligence world is taking over our world. Now listen, I need to hear your feedback. I need some comments from you down in the comment section. Write in your heinous uh, Alexa taking over the world stories and uh, let's connect, let's hook up, let's be a community. Make it a great day, people. I'll talk to you later. Well, ha, I went and I just put all those fuckers in a box.